What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Chadash. We are back at it again. Ooh, yeah. Let's get a wish in. Uh, let's see if we get lucky. So today, uh, we're just going to do that quick unit um, unit showcase. Uh, if you guys have been following my channel for quite some time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Give it to me. Fail. <laughs> Oh, man, dude. It's been like five months since I got in a rune, and this is what they give me. Oh, that's brutal. That is brutal. All right. So, yes, that's a great way to start my uh, uh, epic fail of the week. Yeah, buddy. Um, we're going to just do a quick talk about the... Uh, you know, Rune Removal Day, as you guys know, you've been following me for quite some time. We follow, uh, we change the, uh, we had the Rune Removal Day, and so generally we make a post, you know, unit showcase and whatnot, because every video that comes will have somebody that'll be like, uh, what's your stats, bro? Um, so we'll kind of go down through the list, and if nobody made any changes, I'm just going to be like, no change. So um, Swift Will, uh, Will is not necessarily important right here. Um, I just had it on here because they had some uh, okay speed of hit point attacks. No changes here. Um, Chandra, no changes, but we will do the quick um, showcase here since everybody wonders how I get the numbers that I do. Um, yeah, buddy. Uh, Sigmaris, I was honestly contemplating putting the runes um, on Clara, but I really value the opportunity for his first and second still to stun or freeze. So I like the ability um, with, with two sets that I have, attack per damage, attack. I have two damage-based sets on these two that are attack per damage, attack. One's despair, one's fatal. I I value, I, I, I really, I've gone despair on Clara for quite some time, but I value the opportunity to not only stun with a 25% chance, but ha having the ability to stun on basically now all three attacks with the first and second one having two stun, a stun already. And then this one now being able to get a sun, I think they're just, I get a little bit more bang for my buck. Um, in addition, we'll show the stats here on the percentages. Sigmaris has a 30% a crit rate bonus uh, total because you have the 15 base plus the 15 on the awakening. Um, and Clara has just the regular one. So even though the set that I have on Clara now is giving me 62, it would have given him, what, 77? And the opposite one would have given her like 54. So I kind of like the fact that both of my, um, you know, having Sigmaris in addition, you know, uh, the runes on Sigmaris here, um, taking the lower end of the crit rate and, and getting the benefit of his boost allows them both to be over 60%. That's kind of what I uh, shoot for. Um, and so uh, I really like it. Yeah, I, I almost put this on Clara um, because her third skill plus the studs, you know, it's real nice. But um, with this one having the... Uh, one and two slots, uh, one and two first skills, having stuns. I just, I just felt compelled to keep it on. So, uh, but yes, Clara is reruined. Um, she was despair focus uh, attack across the board. I have, um, you know, over the last two months, I've collected a few uh, runes along the way and have mixed stuff around. And have been able to put uh, a Fatal Blade set on her. So I'm excited. The um, reason why I want to utilize her more is because now she does have a way of breaking defense. So this will be another addition to my Arena Offense team. Um, you know, in addition to Bella. Uh, Bella is just kind of my one-stop shop as far as, uh, uh, you know, having the all the skills needed, you know, for our, our quality Arena Offense. Having an extra defense breaker is going to be good. Um uh, Roke is still attack, crit damage attack, but a uh, new rune on there because my six star crit damage rune is on Chandra uh, and it has been for quite some time. Um, this is a huge change. I went back and forth all day long. Uh, if you guys remember, the original stats were plus 1475, maybe, but 1400. I know the totals were like 2200, so plus 14, 22, or something like that. The speed was plus 116. And the crit rate was like around 41%. Crit damage was like, you know, the basic 50%, whatever. Um, we went ahead and uh, switched out the uh, a random blade attack room here for this crit damage room. Um, I found this in a shop two days ago before root removal day. And ended up leveling up and was happy with the stats. Uh, this came as a rare 
uh, rune with just attack percentage and speed, so I knew that this would be beneficial for her. Um, again, um, I, I, I had about five or six different combinations I was playing with, and um, this was the one that gave me the highest amount of crit rate, the highest amount of crit damage, and with the highest amount of speed. Now, I tried Violent. I mean, obviously, I want to get a set of Violent on her, but because her skill is based on speed, I lose a lot of damage. Even if I get a couple extra attacks, I still lose a lot of damage, still not hitting hard enough. Um, this one here is allowing me to hit in the 25k range, um, but generally it's falling between 19 and 23. Uh, the other one um, that I had on here uh, was was good, but I mean I, could, I, I I maxed out at 24k, but you know the range was a little bit higher. And because I use this uh, girl with uh, Corona quite a bit, generally um, I'm having 100% crit rate because of the leader skill and the uh, buff. So, um, no crazy changes here. I took their six star runes off of this one, um, Delphoi, whose speed, hit point, hit point, and put it on Bella. Bella has a little bit more speed now, a little bit more hit points. Uh, Bella made a big change. It took away her um, broken runes and finally fit in a revenge set. I've been fortunate enough to get a couple of uh, revenge runes in the one, the three, and the five. Um, this was originally Darian's. Um, and I level this one up a little bit. So now, um, uh, even though her hit points are not where I want, I kind of want them in that 27, 28. Um, I'm really happy with this with the speed. Um, the big thing is for me that I run into a lot is when I'm fighting the teams that are very most, uh, you know, I'm constantly losing my defense break. So having the revenge set on and having their very most focused down Belladon with the counterattack, it gives me the opportunity to put a defense break on, you know, on a counterattack. And then I'll have my other three units, uh, in addition to Bella, whatever, get the opportunity to hit Veramos and take him out because the defense break is on and Veramos just went. All right. Um, another big change here. Uh, well, he was the spare adventure for quite some time. We got some new runes on. Uh, been utilizing him in my read of defense a little bit, so trying to make you know um, him a little bit better. Um, the one, the three... The four and the five are the same runes. This one here is Darian's rune with a plus 15 speed. But I'm uh, since I'm not using Darian right now in the arena defense, I'm utilizing it. So if I put Darian back in there, then I'll, I'll swap runes. But um, this is a new rune. This is a new rune. Um, stats, uh, I can't get enough of it. I kind of, like I said, Brian's probably not necessary right now in my arena defense. But, you know, 43k hit points, uh, 140 uh, was that 147 speed? Like he just is. It's just it's just really weird. Um, I like it. I like the combination. Um, it's a nice little fail safe. And, and like I said, uh, his accuracy is a little bit low. Resistance is good. Um, the runes the runes just work really really well in general. Like I feel it's it's kind of like a, a Chandra. I feel really good. You know my runes are not um, you know God's gift right, but they just. They just flow well, you know, hit points, resistance, hit points, resistance, hit points, resistance, and a little speed. I mean, it's, you can just tell these runes were made for Brian. Uh, let's see. Well, Bella, we ran it right over. Darian, I have a, just a random render right in there for now, but generally I have that 15 speed rune. So he's he's normally at 141 speed. He's a little bit lower, but he's still faster than uh, Chandra, which is what matters. Um, and then, uh, yeah, Veramos. No changes. Lucian did have a change. I, I stripped uh, Kaz and put uh, most of uh, Kaz's rage runes on here. Um, with the exception of a couple. And the reason being is because I want to um, basically start... I want, I want to get lazy and start using a, a comp that allows me to use double Lucian. So I'll probably eventually like six-star this one. But the damage that I'm doing with him already... Is pretty darn strong, so I'm not, you know, I'm not too concerned about trying to get it done right away. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see. Then we got uh, Bernard. So yeah, don't laugh too hard. I finally got a Bernard. I got a Bernard in the Spectre, right? I finally, I finally created a Bernard because I wanted to be again a little bit lazy in the arena offense. There's, there's so many times where in the week um, I drop too many levels because not, you know, my arena defense will win and lose, but I, I don't get the opportunity because of my work schedule to, um, to how do I say to uh, to utilize my runes. So I need I need a comp that allows me to go back to those conquer one days, and and uh, and just you know 
Lucian the crap out of them like in three seconds. I can run to the bathroom, get like three or four arenas done, and then you know I have like you know two or three hours before I need to you know check back in before I lose uh, invites. So um, that is it. Uh, Joker, I went ahead and and, and uh, summoned him. Uh, I don't ask me why, but I kind of want to play around with him in TOA hard um, with the with the despair base units that I have. Um, it would not hurt to have. Uh, an ability, that, uh, you know, a, skill, a unit that's going to provide um, uh, bombs with the, you know, with the be able to stun, and uh, you know, extra dots. I need some more units with dots. So uh, right now, fatal focus. Um, you know, I might uh, later on down the road go violent focus, just so I can get more and more opportunities to put the doms and put the bombs and put the dots. Um, but overall, that is it. So um, we'll go ahead and finish off with a six star. Um, Let's see, let's see. It's gotta be Jubel. It's gonna be Jubel. Oh, fail. So I went back and forth. I know uh, Mush Beer Gaming's gonna laugh a little bit because we went back and forth and talking about um, unit the, the next unit that was gonna be six starred. With what I'm doing with Lucian, um, I'm getting the job done. I don't need a you know six star right now. My second Hua, I don't have my Verta Hill, so I don't see any point in getting it up. Beretta, I was able to clear TOA, uh, you know, without her being six star, I did just fine. Um, and then of course Jubel is going to have a lot more value by having the higher HP, um, the base HP from this uh, uh, from this thing. So um, with regards to Luir, I definitely you know would like the higher stats, but he's you know with him being CC, like it's it's one of those things where. Um, he's just going to, he, he's going to have to be six star eventually, but I'm not, like, I don't think it's a main concern. Whereas Jubel, I got, um, you know, runes that I on him right now and I can utilize him. So we'll do a little, um, thank you here. It's, it's six, <laughs> seven or five in the morning. So I don't expect too many people to say, uh, thank you, but I appreciate all everybody that's on. Everybody's on. Look at that. Three people. Boom. So Shay, D Storm, and Damon. If you watch my channel, boom. You're you are your baller. Alright. So that is it, guys. I will be back. It's time for us. Oh, there's troll. There's troll. <laughs> I'll be back in a little bit here. I'm gonna go ahead and max out this uh unit and we'll see the end game stats. Alright. Be back in a little. Alright, what's up guys? We are back. Um the leveling is done. The unit is maxed out, uh, 32.5, uh, not too bad, and defense, 1100, not too bad. So we'll take a look at the um, at the stats right now. Uh, a broken violent set. I am completely out of revenge. I had to stick with the uh, well. I have revenge runes, but to put it in certain slots and then fill in, you know, the slots that I need to fill in with hit point runes, or whatever. I just don't have them, so I need to hold back on the revenge and just utilize violent for now. Um, so right now, I mean, not too bad considering, um, I was fortunate enough to at least get, uh, six star hit point runes on, on the main stats. And then I'm really, really happy with, um, the two broken runes and this rune right here. So, um, you know, we're looking at, um, what is that? Like 47, 47 to 50% defense. So giving a nice little defense boost there sitting at 1100. Uh, I'll keep on playing around with it. I do actually have two uh, six-star runes um, that I could put here um, that are focused to help me out with the accuracy. Um, but for right now, this is pretty much all I got, unfortunately. So I'll have to play around with it. Um, 32k I'm happy with. We'll be utilizing a lot in Guild Wars uh, on raids that I can't use Veramos. Or maybe I'm using Veramos in the other one, but it should be interesting. I'm looking forward to trying it out. Um, prior to, um, you know, with him and with Darian, I used uh, Double Revenge when I didn't have the Violent Runes uh, for both of those units. And Double Revenge did work really well, especially for Guild Wars um, versus the element that was attracted to him. So I'm like, super excited to get some Revenge Runes on him and get some use out of that. But uh, that's pretty much it for the unit uh, and Bruins Showcase there. It's your boy Chadish from Chadish Place checking out. Take care. We'll see you next time. I'm out.